Well, good morning and happy tool of the day. This is tool of the day number 45. That's right, the big four or five, it must be Friday, go Hawks. Anyway, this is a combination square and it does a combination of things. It is a great tool, very, very handy tool. Um, here, just looking at it, you've got a 90 degree angle that you can use if you need to. You've got a 45 degree angle you can use if you need to. Um, this is a ruler that has uh, two different scales. It has a 16th scale on this one and a 32nd scale, which is pretty cool. It's 12 inches long. And we can loosen this and slide that scale different lengths. So let's say, for example, I really wanted to make a mark two inches from the edge of a board. Well, then I could put this on the board and grab my pencil and I could make a mark two inches from the side of the board. Let's say that I wanted to make a mark two inches from the side of the board on a whole bunch of boards. Well, it's set, it's locked into place and I could use it on many, many, many boards. But wait, there's more. Let's say I wanted to make this mark, but I wanted this mark to go a certain distance. Well, I could, I can do this while holding the board here. I could move it down the board and mark a longer area. And if I needed to make another line, I could adjust this again. Okay, or I could even have a second one of these if I had lots of different things to mark. So that's pretty amazing. Now many combination squares also have a, a little bubble here and that is a level. And so you can see if what you're putting something on is level or not. You can see when that bubble gets right into the middle, then it is level. One very interesting thing that I didn't know for the longest time, I'll be honest with you, you know, uh, is on the bottom, a lot of these combination squares on the bottom have a little piece that you can pull out and it's a sharp point and that is actually kind of a little scribe that you can use to make a scratch for a lot like make a mark instead of a pencil okay there's a little mark there or you can put use the tip and just make a little dot at a certain point okay if that's what you need so I thought that was very interesting and many of the ones I have at school some of them have it and some of them don't it's a secret kind of like a Swiss Army knife did you know on the end of a Swiss Army knife on one side there's a toothpick and on the other side there's tweezers I didn't know that for the longest time it's like a hidden tool within a tool so this is a combination square and it does more things but what I've shown you is pretty much the the big picture. Um, it's really nice to know uh, if you wanted to draw a line across a board, then you can just, that you know is perpendicular to the edge, then you can just do something like this and, and draw that line and you've got your line, okay? Um, so combination square fits into a tool belt quite well and it's today's tool of the day, tool of the day number 45. There it is and there you have it. Keep.